if you can build a box, you can make all the modifications you need to accommodate your life living in a van or a car. It's just, I wish I had thought of it earlier. And it was through the inspiration of Danny that I learned how to do this. So I'm going to show you. Hope you can see it. the legs so at first I figured out how high I want it but you're also gonna have wood on top so how high do I want it with a piece of wood on top and then so these are the legs I'm gonna lay them out like this this is the width this is how wide I want my I'm, I'm making a little table right now this is how wide I want my little table so they go this way and this goes this way Now, depending upon how finicky you are and how much equipment you have and skill level, you can do this fancier. But either way, fancy or rude, crude, it's going to work. And it's just a matter of cutting some measuring, pretty much, and cutting straight the configuration. I have learned the hard way always pre-drill the holes for your screws okay pre-drill those holes glue 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 this is another thing I learned from Danny and just from having not done it <laughs> on my own. We'll do it good. Do not spare. Squishy, squishy. Move it up. Make sure you're... big but since I'm pretty much done this build I really don't want to go back and buy a bunch of stuff so that's what you get one side of the table. Now we build another one here and then I'll show you what's next. All right I went ahead and did the other side. I had to make a few adjustments to the floor itself but and also to the shelf but that's what you want to do at this point. Now I've determined my length which is this and I have to decide um, how I'm going to lay out the rest of it. So I can put a board here, a board here, and then go this way. I just have this thin strip to uh, fix it to. But So what I think I'm going to do is cut out these, a bunch of these to go this way, and then I'll get uh, thicker boards to go that way. So that's what I'm going to do next. Now, here's the great thing about the versatility of these. <clears throat> I can leave it open in the back, uh, front or the back, or both front and back, because I think it'll be sturdy enough when I'm done. Or you can enclose all four sides. You could uh, put a bottom on it and put a lid that flips. I mean, there's 
just by putting some hinges on you have to think about it but um, if I say wanted to put something in a box with a hinge I have this and then I'd build the rest of my lid and separate you know and then get some hinges and put on here and it would go up I don't think I have the room for that Okay, the sides, I just glued them. I have to go back and screw them in, but they're dry. I'm just going to show you, because i got other things to do today, and I want to get this video out. I just want you to know how freaking easy this is. Where's that other one? Cut another one. That'll go in there. I lost my step stool. This is a pretty good climb. You know, it's up past my my knee because I'm a short person. Anyway, I've decided not to replace it, but bear with me here because it's good exercise for my butt and legs. So look what I did! I don't know if you remember what it was like, but I'm going to show you. <laughs> this was in the beginning, and after only a few months, I modified it. All right, I'm excited to show you what I did. Again, while I was in Colorado. So, yeah, so I have all my kitchen things over here now somewhat organized that I can get to. There's my water. That area where the water is was eventually replaced with stacks of clothes. Canned food was behind the driver's seat and I built a little shelf beside the bed to hold assorted stuff. Here's my new configuration. I made a box here. I made another wheel well cover here. I lowered the bed five inches so I can sit up straight. Even when I have the mattress on, I've got headroom. I dismantled the kitchen thing I'd built here and found this wonderful cabinet at Salvation Army, I think. Oh no, the resource store. Oh, the restores. You know, the Habitat for Humanity I'm really thing. proud of this potty box. It hides my potty. I did want to build another a table, but I didn't make it if I put a slide in table, I don't have really enough room for the legs. So I'm going to, I think, take this cutting board and uh, build a little bracket under there so this slides in and out. Then I'll have a little table when I sit back. This, I love this look. So when I, you know, I bought the furniture at Goodwill. Anyway, I grabbed it, and I'm going to use one drawer, and one. this will be a bookshelf, and this will be like a display thing. I have my uh, statues and stuff, and I still have some space just to put things, and the wheel well that I did a horrible job. I was going to demonstrate on this box. I use scrap but it won't matter because it's going to be covered <laughs> and that little there's a little box that will sit there and I guess if I need more little boxes I could stack a couple there's also room back here to stuff some stuff so my op my uh, goal was to have more space but have it all consolidated so all the kitchen stuff will go in here all the food the cooktop I think I'm getting rid of my propane tank and two burner flame king and going down to a portable cooktop that I can put away when I'm not cooking. I don't cook that much, you know, boil water.
uh, you can't really cook a whole lot inside the van. Like I tried to make soup one day and my carbon monoxide thing went off. You know, it's just not a good idea. So you have to cook outside somewhat. And I like cooking over the fire. Anyway, here's a, this is a plastic thing. I debated. So I hated really spending that much money on plastic. But it's really going to hold all my clothes. And I really needed to have them in one place. And I, you know, before I had them here, there, and everywhere. Stacked in. I couldn't find anything. And it was in the winter, sometimes it was hot. You needed summer clothes. In the summer, sometimes it's chilly and you need winter clothes. And uh, so now all my clothes should be accessible. And I have room on top here to do something. I could, might put another crate, <clears throat> but I might just leave it open. <clears throat> I really like the openness that's developing and not, but still have functionality. Oh, here's a new drawer I'm playing with, deciding how far down back I want it. I, where will we put it? I don't know. But this is going to be for my computer. It's nice to have a place to slide it in. And I'll have to put a stop in the back so it doesn't slide too far. I pushed the bed back. I had it all the way up to here, like on this side of the, oh, maybe further. I covered the wheel well with the bed. So it was back quite a bit. And uh, so now that I have the fan, I don't have to open the doors to, for air necessarily. I can push my bed back a little bit. Still left myself a little bit of room. Put my feetsies down. And the legs aren't, I didn't reattach the legs yet. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, the box just incidentally, to push it over a little bit more. Um, holds my water bottle. And there's room for the other one down below here if I want. So I like that. Right next to the kitchen. This has to go over a little bit. I was doing some work. So I have more room now. Oh, this is the refrigerator box. It's not beautiful, but I'm not done with it. I'm going to sand it, um, all of this, sand and stain. I love these crates. These, these are moms. old orchard boxes I found in the shed and fixed up. Where are my mom's technically? And I wanted to use them somehow. So I'm going to finish cleaning these up. And two of them fit under here. What will I put in there? I don't know. But you, I'll put something. Something I don't need to pull out in the back. You know, there's always a place for coats winter winter things but I still want to access it it would be nice to have something that lifted up but really that was beyond my needs so the refrigerator will sit on here I used to have it this way now it's coming this way and all three sides will be available for the uh, the vents on the refrigerator and I'll have room over here to stand so I can open it and it's down a little bit lower so I can actually open it all the way up, which I couldn't before. So always in trying to improve. Now that I've been in it for a year, um, it's like, oh fuck, this doesn't work. But it's just, this is the third time. <coughs> so I'm really excited by such a simple concept as uh, building a box and using it. <laughs> in ways that you know work how I got to the idea of building the boxes is I was I wanted to go up to the ceiling so I was gonna put the furniture and then build something over it and I thought well I'm gonna probably put heavy things up there and I don't want to get killed when it falls why not put it on the ground and put the furniture up higher and so that's where I began and I had different configurations and I was about ready to uh, pull my hair out. Oh, I don't have any hair. <laughs> you know, figure speech. And uh, I came up with this, this uh, configuration and I really like it. I just, I'm so excited. I can't wait to finish it. So here's my, my 
legs need to, I put this down in the back just to make it a little neater. Uh, there's the box I was going to show you how to make, but it ended up having an angle at the end. It's a little ugly, but it works. You know, it's just to hide the wheel well. I'm not going to put anything on them necessarily, although there's some space up here. I'll probably slide something. The battery's now here, exposed, and I'll re-hook everything, uh, probably on the face plate here. Once I can figure out where I'm putting the legs. And then I'm going to decoupage the walls. All that's for another video. But I really, really think it's so much more airier and pretty sure I can get an awful lot of stuff in here without making it feel like I got a lot of stuff in here. So I got plenty of room under here for about six crates.